Hey guys, it's me Melody and today I am coming to you with an explanation. I feel like I owe you guys an explanation as to why I have been absent for so long on my YouTube channel. Now I know some of you aren't going to care about this video and it's a completely talking video. It has nothing to do with my hair. Well, I guess a little bit in the end, but um, this is for the people who were messaging me and commenting on my Instagram asking where I was, if everything was okay. I just want to let you guys know that you don't even understand how much that meant to me and how it made me feel to know that you guys were still thinking about me even though I've completely vanished from your world. You still had time to think about little old me. <laughs> so I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who are just hanging around, just looking out. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't even know what my hair looks like right now, geez. We'll get into that whole conversation in a minute. I have been gone since September, and I've kind of been gone before that. Uh, I figured it was time for me to um, explain where I've been and what's been going on in my life now that I feel like I'm kind of trudging my way out of the, I guess, difficult time in my life. Um, I don't even really know where to start, but I guess I'll start about two, a little over two years ago, because um, that's when it all kind of started. Um, a little over two years ago, I lost my mommy. She passed away, and she had MS, and she was fighting, and she was sick for a really, really long time. Um, and it's really weird because most people would say, oh, that was the most difficult time of my life, um, hardest thing to get through, blah, blah, blah. But it didn't really hit me that way. Um, when she passed, I kind of just was like, okay, well, I still have my goals that I need to accomplish. Um, I had reasons as to why I needed to be independent and as to why I needed to graduate from college. and. People were telling me to take a semester off and, you know, I'll regret it and all that stuff. But literally one day after my mom passed away, I was sitting in class, um, the first day of class for my second semester of my junior year of college. And um, no, I don't regret it. I don't think I ever will. But, um, you know, I thought about her and I think about her literally every minute and every second of my life. And um, it's so funny how when you become an adult, you, you see how much of an influence someone is on your life. And, you know, since she's been gone, I've like reflected on uh, my time with her and the type of person that she was. And it's just crazy because I'm just like her and I didn't realize how amazing of a person she was until she was gone and you know I'm okay with that I prayed a lot you know I asked God to give me strength up to her death um, and I believe that he gave that strength to me because I, I didn't break I didn't crumble I just kept it moving and um, I think I think that's a good thing I guess Anyway, so yeah, that happened a little over two years ago, and after my mom passing, I it was like a ripple effect of just life, like boom, 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 boom. I was getting smacked hard. Um, so I finished my spring semester of my junior year, um, and I continued to stay in school. And as you guys know, I think I like updated you about this uh, like a year ago, or whatever, explaining that. I decided instead of, I'm an educator, or I was an education major, instead of doing the traditional one semester long student teaching, I did a year long student teaching. So I did student teaching from last September to last June. Um, and I graduated last May in 2016 with my bachelor's degree, yeah. um, which I worked so hard to graduate on time and with really good grades. So I'm super, super proud of myself. And a year ago, last April, around this time, I got my dream job um, teaching in like the district of my dreams and the grade I've always wanted to teach. And 
like everything good and bad just started mixing together and just life got so busy I couldn't even adjust to the new you know before it was time for something else new to come and hit me so it was just like a really busy time you know losing my mom graduating from college as you can see I have my very own apartment um, so moving out and this is my first apartment on my own so that was like a really big deal for me and it's just a lot a lot a lot a lot has happened um, and so I uploaded a video back in September of 2016 and that was the last time that you guys heard from me because and ask anyone who is a teacher just how difficult your first year of teaching is I'm sure they'll enlighten you as to why I have been absent um, I literally have been sleeping eating breathing teaching this year it's very stressful and it's a lot of work but I would never ever ever in a million years trade my job I love my job so much and it's why I worked so hard in college it's why literally I think it's like my purpose it's why I'm here I'm here to teach I'm here to nurture and help young students and children develop into beautiful people in society <laughs> if that makes sense um, but yeah it's a lot of work but I'd never trade it in a million years um, so yeah so that's what I've been doing and it's been a lot like I was working 12 to, to, to put it into perspective I've been working like most of the school year like 12 11 12 hours a day straight I'd work through my lunch break I'd work through obviously my planning period and then I'd stay after till about 7 o'clock I get there at 7 in the morning leave at about 7 at night and I didn't take any breaks like I just went 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 and so it was just exhausting and now that it's April almost May, basically the end of the school year I'm finally able to not stay at work until seven o'clock every night literally just just happened like two weeks ago so I'm proud of that as well um, so now I'm at a pretty good point obviously throughout all of this stress I have turned to food to get me through so um, now that I'm not as stressed and I'm not as like ah! going crazy, I need to get back to me. Like I've completely lost myself. Um, honestly, my hair was a disaster. I've stopped doing my whole curly hair, natural hair thing. I go to the hairdresser every two weeks to get my hair washed, blow dried, and straightened. Couldn't tell you if I had heat damage or not because I have not seen my hair wet in months. <laughs> Um, so now that the school year is done and coming to an end, um, I think I'll have more time to focus on me and my hair and my body and my health and all the things that I've pushed to the side and literally I've just been taking it, just teaching, that's all I've been doing. Um, I feel like I can now take care of Melody and get back to who I am and then hopefully next school year I can have like a balance of some sort between me and work. Um, so yeah, I am planning on coming back my youtube channel is not done forever i'm not deleting my channel i plan on being here with you guys especially throughout the summer and you know i'm looking to start losing weight i'm looking to start getting my curls back and hopefully healthy again <laughs> and i'm just looking to enjoy life like this is it this is adulthood i've done it i'm an, i have a career like uh, what is this <laughs> Um, but I do miss you guys and I miss making videos and meeting new people and all that good stuff that comes with having this YouTube channel um, so yeah I felt like I owed you guys an explanation especially those of you who've been checking on me um, there's a lot going on or was a lot going on but I think the future is really really bright for me and I can't wait to see what my future holds so yeah I plan on coming back with um, hair videos I want to start taking care of my hair again kind of getting back into my natural hair journey um, I want to start taking care of my health I want to learn how to eat right I want to learn how to work out because right now working out is like the worst um, and I just want to love myself self-love that's what it's going to be about this summer so yeah let me know if you know of any youtubers that you think would be good for me to follow as far as you know healthy eating habits and diets or workouts anything like that I'm looking for all that stuff right now um, and yeah I'm gonna plan on making this jump and coming back to me with you I'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye